Yeah, well, in this life, there's lots of disappointments and failures of um, ranging in magnitude from just minor to life-changing. And they can happen in so many different avenues of our lives, uh, with our health, education, careers, finances, also all the different pursuits that people pursue. Yeah, there's some, yeah, sometimes it just doesn't, doesn't meet up to what our expectations, our ideal of what we thought it was going to be like. Or what. But the good news is there's something that we're all going to be successful at, and that's, and that's dying. Everybody, everybody's going to be a, everybody's going to be a winner. When you're there. Um, um, you know, when you're born, you're you've already got your ticket stamped, and uh, even if you lose your ticket, you're, you're, the doors are open, the gates never close, the lights are always on. You know, it's an equal opportunity kind of a state, and uh, so if you're poor, rich whatever race or nationality, whatever your career was, whatever your views are, we all get to, we all get to die. Yeah, not to be a, sound like a wet blanket, <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, it's something I think that needs to be reflected upon frequently and, because, uh, yeah, it's, it's truly like the, the one sure thing, one sure thing in this life is that, to everything that we know, whether we love it or don't love it, is, is going to come to an end. And uh, it's, uh, I think it's better to find a way to make peace with that reality and not to push it away, not to have aversion or put it off, but to actually kind of, you know, welcome it in, try to find peace with, the, with this uh, reality. There's, there's just no getting around it. It's just quite an ordinary thing that happens happens uh, to people, it happens to the animals, it happens to the trees, it happens to the devas, everybody gets to die. And, um, you know, you can work your, work hard your whole life, uh, get a good education, have a good career, save your money, but at the end of the day, you, you can, as they say, you can't bring it with you. So I think the, the place to really put the investment so, you know, of course you have to, as we live in this world, we still have to take care of ourselves, take care of our families, take care of our responsibilities, take care of our bodies, be responsible, but not to totally believe in, in that and, and, uh, and actually invest in our hearts in, the, in the, this spiritual training, because that's where, you know, the rubber really meets the road. It's the one thing that can prepare us for this, you know, this event that we can go out peacefully, you know, with contentment, sense of ease, as opposed to being in fear, terror, agitation. And uh, there's no, no sooner, you know, there's no sense in putting this off, no sense in waiting until the end and, and being in a panic, but to reflect on this often and just seeing that it's just, a, just an ordinary aspect of, of being alive. It's not something that's unfair or something that you can blame on somebody else. Just the fact of being born means that the conditions are set that you have to die. And just the fact that everybody here is at the monastery and we're, I would call us practitioners, we, we kind of realize that. And um, uh, yeah, yeah, just to encourage everybody to uh, reflect on this in a healthy way, not, not in a way that, you know, we would call like... Uh, Vibhava Tanha, where it's a craving not to become, but, and, 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 you know, to, but to just to look at this in a sober, kind of clear, clear-minded clear way with wisdom of what uh, what we're doing and um, how we want to be, and those, those if we have even have the opportunity to be conscious of our, our last moments, uh, how we want to go out in this world, because uh, it's uncertain just how long we have. And as we recently experience with uh, the passing of Josh, still quite a young man, uh, unexpectedly, uh, you know, the, even the young are, are subject to the, to this. Uh, we, there's many examples we know in our lives or through the monastery, um, of young people 
having uh, seemingly untimely deaths. So it's uh, it's not just for the old. It's a like I said, equal opportunity event. And so I think we uh, I think uh, the young and old all should be circumspect about this and uh, try to have a healthy outlook on it. Try to have a wholesome attitudes about this and just uh, reflect on how how do you want to go out in this you know do you want to uh, go out with fear and anxiety and uh, and then setting the causes and conditions for future problems or do you want to go out peacefully or contented without a lot of regrets uh, which seems like a much better way to go i guess that yeah the choice is yours we have choices every moment of the day to uh, to be uh, skillful cultivating wholesome qualities, or we can, you know, be guided by the hindrances. So the choice is ours, and uh, it's just an encouragement for everybody, including myself, to make good choices and uh, be well.